Hello everybody, I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to The Escapist. I finally did it! <laughs> finally! After, I don't even know how many attempts, maybe eight? Something like that, I finally managed to break out of the head enclosure Laputa prison. Uh, chances are this will be a sped up version of it. But basically, long story short, I changed all of my food that I was taking, or at least as much of it as I could, from cooked food to chocolate bars. Because cooked food was only 10, chocolate bars were 15. Um, in the off chance that I would run into a rock underneath the wall, which became surprisingly more frequent than I was liking, um, then I decided to put between the prisoner sleeping quarters and also the metal shop, uh, just like a line of forks so I could use them to chip away at it. I don't think it would take more than maybe like three or four forks but they were there as a backup. Luckily on this attempt I didn't need it. Um, I actually made a fence as I said before it was three wire to make a fence and that was all good and one time that I ran this I found that I needed a timber support because I put some dirt behind me to block the hole that I'd gone underneath the wall with but if you do that then for whatever reason you need a brace whereas if you literally have like the hole open on one side and you try to make a hole on the other. You don't need the brace. It's all very confusing. I don't know why it does that. I don't know if it's a bug or if it's some kind of sciencey pressure-y, airy thing. But anyway, that's that. Um, <laughs> and then other than that, uh, not a great deal was different. I had a file. I know one of my attempts that I did, I actually had some flimsy cutters instead. But really, it was just a game of fatigue and making sure that before 6am or 7am, whenever the guys turned up, I was ready to break out of there. So I think it's about time we get started on the next prison. And I've only just realised that looks really oddly lined up, doesn't it? It looks like a prisoner is wearing a, a cop hat. <laughs> Why have I never seen that before? But anyway, uh, let's jump into it. Let's play as myself, as Martin, and we're entering, I think that's the right one, isn't it? Yes. So we go from Shankton uh, into the jungle compound. And that is actually a way smaller prison capacity than I was expecting. I thought it was just going to get like infinitely bigger. Like every time you go up a difficulty level, there'd be more guards, there'd be more prisoners. But this is proper like Yogsy Penitentiary size, isn't it? <laughs> this is cool. So uh, what I'm going to do with these guys, okay, is I'm going to name the officers as I always do. So we're going to have like Officer Brinley, we're going to have Officer Lane, Mr. Offs Bods, there he is. Uh, who else did we have? Which ones did I like last time? I quite liked Officer Neeson, he was a bit of a badass. And I reckon we'll have Officer Dan as well. And then for the prisoners, because we've actually now started to match certain characters to certain names and faces and stuff, I kind of want to keep it that way. So that most definitely would be Sparkles. That was most definitely be Simon. That would probably be Sips, I would say. Um, that one would be Ross. And then Aaron shared the same look in the last prison. I think Toby, well, Toby was black, wasn't he? I'm pretty sure Toby was black in the penitentiary, but not in the prison just gone. I think he was blonde in there. So let's have Toby be you. We will have this person be... Who, do, have I had another blonde person? Let's have Malfoy. Yeah, that's a blonde person. <laughs> let's have Malfoy in there. I reckon it's going to be Trot. Trot's been pretty good luck, actually, when we've been playing through this. He's always had the goods on him, hasn't he? And we'll make this last guy here the stripping. And I think that's everybody, isn't it? Trot, Ross, Toby, Malfoy, Sips, Simon, stripping, Spark and Aaron. Let's do this thing. Let's find out what hellhole. Oh, we got a roomie. Welcome to the jungle. Society's declared that you are a menace. So we put you far away. Chins, chins worth. Chins, chins worth. Oh, that is our prison anthem. <laughs> but anyway, before you even entertain the thought of escaping, let me remind you that even if by some remote chance you make it past the fence, the wall, the perimeter jeeps, and the guard checkpoint, there's no surviving in the wild beyond. Oh my god. Right, okay, well, there's Officer Dan. We're roomies with Simon. That's good to know. Hey, hey come on. We've been roomies for four seconds. We don't even have health bars. What is that all about? Was I not even, like, attached on him? I don't think I actually clicked on him. I think that was the problem. Good lord, this place is massive. Can I go through there? Yeah, sure we can. All right, what's Ross selling? We need to get some goods right away, don't we? Whoa, look at this thing. An exotic feather. What the bloody hell do you do? <gasps> I don't know what it does, but I want it. Right, our first request uh, is from Zips, and Trot's been snitching on him. We need to give Trot a beat down. All right, okay. Well, he's 54-54. I'm sure, uh, yeah, I'm going to be weak like little Babby to begin with. They don't say much in this little uh, thing, do they? 
there's not a lot going on. So Trot and Malfoy are going to be checked. Uh, let us make ourselves a comb shiv. Get that equipped. There you are. What else do we want to get out of here? Maybe some soap. If we come across a sock, we can move ourselves up to a sock mace very quickly. And people did tell me as well that the sock mace is actually three out of five. So I should really be a little bit more uh, on it with collecting some of those. Your watch has done a vanishing act and you think Sips is to blame. Where is Sips's desk? Let me see if I can find it. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Ah, okay. What the bloody hell was that noise? I found a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> this, <laughs> this numerous levels of confusion going on here. Uh, sure, let me take the coconut. Let me. Can I do anything with it? Oh no. Can I use it as a weapon? Oh wait, maybe I can. Maybe I can hit somebody over the head with a coconut. What the hell? <gasps> we eat outdoors. Oh, this is very fancy. I like this. I want to find out what's in the freezer. I actually have straight and instant access to it. Oh, this is awesome. I really like this prison. Uh, the next morning roll call. Sure, I can do that for you. Right, so we need to make some money. We need to start mapping out our escape route. What is that sound? Is that a, do we, Is there a crane somewhere? Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jesus, the guards are on it, aren't they? Bloody hell. Let me take that sock. <laughs> get away, get away, get away. I just want a sock, mace. Just let me have it. Let me take it. Yes, there we go. Good, 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 good. All right, take that off. Equip that. Booyah, I got it. All right, where do I work? I've got a gardening job. Great. This is awesome. Okay, so we can map out the lay of the land. Uh, he actually went looking for me <laughs> inside of my job. It looks like Trot is on laundry duty. We have got Malfoy making some clothing. And looks like Aaron and Toby are unemployed. That's fine. Uh, let me grab a hoe. There you are. Let's see what else is going on inside of here. Sparkle's got a job. Uh, Trot has got his grubby paws on stuff. Okay. And this is where I get our intellect up. Okay. So we've got the library. Now, what are weeds and what aren't? I don't know what I'm supposed to dig up here. Oh, okay. It is the same as before. <laughs> I was worried that with just green and grass everywhere, that this would just be impossible to work through. Uh, ah, there's solitary. Okay. So we've learned where solitary is. I wonder if we could dig through that wall or something. Hmm. Okay. So our living quarters are that way. How are we ever going to get items into the living quarters? That's what I'm wondering. Unless I always have to put them on somebody and then beat them up once we get inside of there. But then surely they would just flag up an alert, wouldn't they? Hmm. Okay. Let me drop that for now. I'm not going to need that. I've got a better weapon on me. He, that officer picked it up, like, straight away. Bravo, sir. Bravo. He is going to be employee of the month. And I really want to know what this suspicious empty... Oh, it's the shower. Okay. All right. This is good. We share toilets. Oh, come on now. We're not animals. Oh, what do you got on your sparkles? Another coconut. <laughs> Can I combine two coconuts? No, okay. What about if I try to use a coconut on somebody? Let's try it on you, Sips. It was Martin in the bathroom with a coconut. I've solved it. I don't think there would ever be a jungle version of Cluedo, would there? Unless it was like a Disney Tarzan one. <laughs> oh, that's what that noise was. I didn't see what that thing was, but I saw the trail off the back of it. I mean, that was some kind of like lorry or something. Maybe we can just sneak out in the back of it. There is no way I'm going to finish my job on time, is there? There's no weeds anywhere. Job's going to finish at one o'clock and I'm going to lose it. Oh, bugging me. Yeah, there you go. Due to my sheer incompetence. <laughs> oh, this is good. I like all of this fighting. It means more money for me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, 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 sorry. Let me have a look. Oh, wire, yes. Wire is for fences. Lighter is always good. What's the hammer? That is a three out of five weapon. Hmm, my sock mace does the same trick. What about Toby? Talcum powder. Yes, okay. We're finding a lot of legal ingredients, which is really good. Awesome. I'm back to being the gardener. Good times. Right, let's get our ratings up a little bit inside of the gym. So it's the same old, same old inside of here, which I prefer, actually, because I really didn't like that punching bag. They're having to press it, like, on the time. Um, I much prefer it when I can just spam the keys. And then that way I can just spout nonsense whilst I'm doing it as well. <laughs> when he was getting beat up at the bottom there just now, did he just say laugh my ass off? As the fight broke out. Oh my god. Uh, what jobs have they got? A razor blade and what is... Oh, he's run off. Hold on a minute. What you got, Stripping? You've already been in the fight and you got a sock and a sock mace. He's got a thing for socks. He really likes hand puppets, Aaron. Instead of a, like a beach ball and he puts a face on it. That's his equivalent. Come on. Oh, wait. I can't take on any more favors. What favor have I, am I not definitely going to be able to do? I could beat up Sips to get a watch. Maybe. 
Where's Sips at? He is one of the bolding men, isn't he? Let's have a look. There he is. All right, Sips is... Oh, 63 and 63. No chance. <laughs> I should probably get my, uh, my stats up first. Oh, I like the music. Oh, this is definitely my favorite prison so far. I'm just going to just bob along to this whilst I lift some weights. So when's shower period? So we've had an exercise period. Then he goes to free period. Maybe they do it like after the evening meal. Maybe we have a meal, then a shower, then we all just get chucked to bed. Maybe that's what it is. But my fatigue is maxed out. There we go. What did I manage to get up to there? 39. All right, it's better than nothing, I guess. I ran into there very quickly without checking what I had in my hand. <laughs> Let me just put away all my legal items. This is good. We've got quite a stash already going on. Let's raid everybody's desks because inside of here is where we're going to find all of the different illegal bits. A tribal drum. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, infinity. Oh, yeah, this is great. Okay. Can I play the tribal drums? Let me give this a go. Can I play them into here? No, can I not play them for somebody? No, we're just we're just saying hello to everyone. I'm keeping those. I like those drums. I got myself some coconut so I can make myself a nice little bra. Uh, what else have we got? That's a watch. We need to watch out of Sips' desk. Or we have to beat the crap out of Sips. Uh, he's down here. I think I did already check this, didn't I? Let me see. Yeah, I already checked that. All right. Let's see what Malfoy is stashing away. Mm, talcum powder is always going to be good because I imagine this prison is going to be slightly more dependent on keys than anything else. Oh, a green herb. Oh, I'm liking all these new items. You're going to have to tell me about all the different things and what all the different items do. Right, let's have a little hop in the shower. Let's get this fatigue down. So I am just starting to look around now to see what our best way out is going to be. So every fence here is electric, so we most definitely have to get a key to get to the generator in order to turn that off. But I think he said there was a fence, a wall, Wall, a jeep uh, and something <laughs> something else as well I wonder if that jeep is the thing that we keep hearing going around I reckon that probably is what it is and like the jeep just just like patrols the perimeter oh what happened to sparkles in here anything good talcum powder I'll take it right it's evening meal time when everybody runs off actually I want to quickly check the freezer although something tells me that if there's a door to get to the freezer that we wouldn't just be able to jump over the bar Hmm. I mean, in the past, we've always had the bar where the person would serve you the food and then a separate door after that to then get into the kitchen. But it doesn't seem like that's how it works around here. Oh, I really want the exotic feather. <laughs> oh, come on. I really, really want it. It would look so cool on my character. Oh, and speaking of my character, actually, um, did you see it on Twitter? The people from The Escapist, they actually made me in the game. Like, they styled me up and stuff. It's really, really freaking cool. I'll put it on the screen right now so you can have a little look at it. But that's what I would look like if I were inside of this prison. And I was very happy about it. Oh, you can just jump straight into here. Can I not store anything in the freezer? No, I can't do any of that. Oh, I got out of there real quick. Officer Dan heard me in there. Right, it's work time. Now, I have a file, which is super, super handy, but no way of getting it into my cell. Although I get the feeling that the prison guards, they don't really run around the back of these buildings all that much. So what I might do is find a nice little spot somewhere. Where would the guards definitely never go? I reckon back here. I don't reckon they're ever going to go to this corner. Because they're never going to go to that prisoner stash. And the generator's there. So they'll always stay down the front end of it. I think the items will be safe there. So it looks like we need the utility key, which is the yellow one, to get anything in motion around here. Although to get through the fence alone, there is a red key that we could use. Although, looking at this, it looks like if I took the metal shop job, that I would actually have access through red doors? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, where's the jeep? I hear the jeep. There it is. Oh, look at that. That is some old school jeepage. <laughs> Love it. Uh, who's getting beat up here? Let me try and get an attack. Uh, bananas. Hello. I just looted him for some, for some bananas. I think I looted Simon. Let me see. Yeah, it was Simon I probably looted there. Oh, a trowel. Oh, yes, please. Okay. Now, the only problem I'm going to have is hiding my naughty items in the evening because I don't really have a wall to hide behind and have vents to climb up into. This is a whole different ball game, isn't it? I think I'm probably... Oh, wait, 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 whoa, that's a bloody resistant weed. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Good. I was going to say, I think I'm probably the worst employee that they have ever had to do this job. Oh, God, stripping is at it again. He is roughhousing everybody. 
absolutely everybody. Right, I'm going to grab you. I could do with you as well. Anything that's red that's on this side of the fence is going to be good for us. Oh, I lost the job again. <laughs> Let me go get it back. Where is it? Where's the job board? Uh, where is it? Ah, there it is. Okay. All right, so I've already very quickly got on the lay of the land of this place. So, I guess really, uh, we're going to need some comments about what is a good escape method. I like the like the five steps last time that somebody uh, gave me. I think they're using it with something to do with hating Google Plus or something. <laughs> Who's fighting? God, there's always fights in here. They better not start on me. I'm going to be well annoyed if they do. Simon is completely emptied out for the day. I've taken everything from him. Uh, is there anything that I can do during shower break? No, I've only got morning roll call, and that is about your lot. Okay. All right, it's evening roll call. Let me go grab the naughty bits out of my desk. Uh, bottle of sleeping pills, trowel, uh, bananas, coconuts, pears, apples, herbs, tribal drums. Not making any of those up. They're all in there, except for the pear. That wasn't in there. <laughs> I still want your, your beautiful exotic feather. I have no idea what it does. It probably does nothing. It's probably just a vanity item. There's probably like a Steam achievement to like buy it off of them. Aaron and Sips are getting checked this evening. Right. Good. Good. I like this. Some people pointed out as well that in one of the previous episodes when Officer Brinley was uh, giving us a bollocking, that he apparently said, it's just like my gran always used to say. Who's going to clean my shoes? <laughs> just some of the, like the random combinations that the RNG throws out. It's just very weird and very peculiar. Well, there we go. I think that's it for today, everybody. I know it's a little bit briefer uh, episode-wise than usual. We've only gone through one day, but it's best to get the lay of the land before we really try and do anything. So leave your little five-step guides in the comments. I don't know why I did this. I'm like Mark Wahlberg back in the day. Word. I'm in prison, yo. I'm going to kill someone in here and get a teardrop tattoo and whatnot. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> leave me some comments, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.